Welcome back to Pokemon Polish Crystal, guys. Last episode, we got blocked by a tree. So, we have to go all the way back here to Goldenrod to get the Squirtle Bubble. Thankfully, I got a whole bunch of training in. And we did catch a Nidoran female last episode, Little Miss Pinko there. Jeez, I have a lot of female Pokemon, don't I? Alrighty, let's get that bottle from Lady here. Yay, Squirt Bubble! Don't do anything too dangerous. I'm going to drown someone with this. You've given me a bottle with unlimited water. You expect me to be good with it? Alrighty, let's go up here. Cut through here. And right where we need to be. Oh, wait, I didn't battle you? <laughs> Whoops. Oh well, Psychic Boy, we shall crush you. Abra? Abra that fits? <laughs> Flash means nothing to me. Really hoping Chippy gets, you know, really in love with me soon, so I can evolve this little bugger into a Togetic. That Roostium will be useful there. And then I'll start working on Munchlax loving me. If I really wanted to, I could evolve Chippy all the way straight up, because I do have that shiny stone I picked up. But I'm almost certain I'll lose out on some moves. Even though probably most of my moves will be TMHM. Speaking of TMHM, off-screen I did find out what the uh, tutor moves were for that guy outside the game corner. They were the elemental punches! In fact, I used them on Munchlax. Got him Ice Punch and Thunder Punch, I believe? So now he has some elemental coverage. Maybe I taught him Fire Punch, too, I don't remember. That was so long ago. Super Mario Odyssey's been eating up all my time. Today's like the first day in like three days I've had time to just sit down and play this. Now I really wish I had an HD recorder so I could have, you know, played Super Mario Odyssey and uploaded that too. Which is a dang fun game. In fact, I'll probably go back and play some more after this. I want to 100% complete the whole thing if I can. Then of course I'll probably end up doing the exact same thing the weekend Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon release. I already put a vacation day in at work for that, so I'll burn up myself on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And then eventually I'll transfer all my Pokemon in from regular Sun and Moon. Oh, this cadaver's gonna be dangerous, ain't it? Uh, hey, Snoots. Let you come in and do your thing. I misread you. Well, that's cheating. Alrighty, pseudo Wudo. I'm 98% certain that you'll respawn if I knock you out, so I'm not too worried. But you know, better safe than sorry. Not that I can catch it anyways, I already got my first encounter on this route way back in Violet. And it's already died. So I have to knock you out anyways. But we'll see how much damage we can do to you. Oof. Alright, use those couple turns of sleep to get your stats in shambles. All 
right, Lil Tab, let's get you in there. I got five more levels to raise you before you evolve. Hopefully you'll learn a little better water move soon too. I mean Aqua Jet's nice, and so is Water Gun, but Bubble Beam please. I got your attack set down two levels. This shouldn't hurt too much. Of course, I overwrote uh, Bud Slap, so I can't reduce your accuracy. I'm a lose lose situation. maybe? Then I'll run to Violet and heal up. Ah, oh, you leered it to me with your strange little face. I believe will owe me a TM. TM fifty. Rock smash. Wonder how much its base power has been boosted up. And more importantly, wonder who can learn it on my team. There you are. That would have been really nice for Whitney. Oh jeez, just about everybody can learn it. That's good. Alright, I'll go teach as many people as I can this move. Then I'll meet you guys back in Golden Rock, because I want to go explore that area to the east. Alrighty. Let's go see what's actually over here. Unless I need a gym badge to use Rock Smash. My little chippy just smashing rocks. Oh, nifty, I got a pearl out of it. Ooh, there's a cave. Okay, that has a really cool remix. Oh, what's it from, though? I know this. But if I was a betting person, this is where you would uh, bring your Magneton and your Nose Pass to evolve them. All this technology in here. Alright, I'll need Surf. Is this the XY power plant theme? Also, doesn't appear to be any wild encounters here. Nor anything I can do at the moment. I can remember this place, though. Oh, wait a minute. I can explore more, duh. Hmm. Okay, I guess I can just walk over that hole. Uh, why is there statues of me? And why did I drop a rare bone? I'm kind of worried. This is like creepy pasta level stuff. Also, what's up here? Nothing? Takes me right back out to the magnet train. I guess it's a quick shortcut to Goldenrod when you need it. Oh wait a minute, I think I know where this is. Yeah, I think this is a cave I was mentioned to at one point, where it's not quite finished yet. Which that's all fine. I still like the smashing my face in the Easter egg over there. Curious to see what'll come of this place once the hack progresses on. I got a feeling it'll be a really cool little side place. 
In the meantime, though, well, we'll go back up towards where Sudowoodle was and cause some damage. Alrighty, off to Ecrotech with us. Oh, hey, hey there, Missy. You did great! And I have a plane badge. Okay, so you're the route boss. I'll remember you. I've missed out on a couple of them. I gotta remember to go back and fight some. Uh, first encounter... Lady Ba. Meh. Alrighty, where's those fastballs I bought? They're not fastballs, quick balls. We'll make short work of you. Or not, I guess. I... I'll whittle you down and use that netball I got. Now, looks like I'm gonna have to use somebody else to chip you down. for the kill for a minute. Yeah, yeah, I don't really want a Lady Ba. They've always been kind of meh. I mean, Rangi might have increased its stats up to make it kind of useful, but I doubt it. We'll name you... Bapples. I'll use you if I have to, but I hope I don't. I see I could have a cool looking Pidgeotto. I scrolled right past Bo Peep. Silly me! Barely hanging on, bird jerk. Can't have none of that. I was that. Where are all the trainers up here? Pokemon can't do a thing if they're asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Greg. Are you Gregnant? Yeah, Plinko, you don't want to be in for that. Psychic types don't play well. Poison types. Also, Drowsy's trunk looks really weird in this sprite. Like, I know it's supposed to be curled up and under like that, but it looks like it's got, like, the lower half of a bug on its face. Oh no, my flame wheel! Guess I'll just have to hit you with something else. Yay, Pinko! Evolution time! That's pretty sad. That's another Pokemon that would be good with the Eviolite once I get it.
What do you want, kid? Oh yeah, it's Sunday, isn't it? Hey, Sunny. What you gonna give me? A magnet. I've got the perfect Pokemon to give that to, thanks. Also, you're the first day of the week kid I've encountered. Oh, hopefully I find Monica tomorrow. That way, you know, I can do them in order. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Get the magnet to Bo Peep. I don't have anybody that can really use the hard stone. Brick piece is useless. Well, pretty sure I can sell these things. But more importantly, apricorns. Next time I'm down in Azalea, I'll get a heavy ball, a level ball, and a lure ball. Pinko's in the lead. If I know these two, they should have fairy types. Till and Tori. I feel like there's a pun in their name that I'm just not getting. Need Arena, you look like a little dragon. Just need to grow some wings. Well, thankfully I have a way to stop that from getting out of hand. I had somebody at my door I had to go take care of. I'm like, ah, with my headset on, I can barely hear outside of there. There's Bubble Beam. Why can't Polywag get that? Hmm. <laughs> Gosh, between this and all the cuts I'm going to have to do for running back and forth to Goldenrod, I'm going to have my work cut out for me editing this together. Which means I'm most likely going to miss something I should have cut. Can't paralyze me. I'm underground. Come on, hanging on just long enough to paralyze me. Now Pinko's gonna have to be in a wheelchair for the rest of her life. Oh, you are just the worst kind. Alrighty, we'll just go out to somebody that's got the old swift magic. Kind of a slow, bulky electric type. You know, breaking the mold of speedy electric types. Mm -hmm, a little too strong. Oh, jeez, Todd, what do you want? Go Ooh. <laughs> well, good thing I got some things to sell. Well, we were going to go all the way up to Ecrotech this episode, but we're going back to Goldenrod. I'll meet you guys there. Alrighty, let's go see what this sale's all about. Just go here and then up one more. Oh, hey. Nice couple people. I was expecting just one person. Don't have the necessary cash. Maybe I'll sell the berries. Everything's so cheap. But what are they selling? Is any of it worth it? Half-price Pokeball, $100 off a Great Ball, Super Potions, Full Heals, Revives are just as expensive, though. 
Um, you know, I don't really need any of this stuff. It's a darn shame. We ran all the way back here expecting something great, and we got nothing. I guess I'll pick up a couple full heals. And uh, that's gonna be it. Yeah. Well, I'll meet you guys back up at Equitech. I thought this was gonna be a little bit cooler than what I saw. Hold the phone. It is Sunday, so we can get a TM for return here, too. Uh, who probably loves me the most? Not like any of you guys have been KO'd, so I don't have to worry about that. Oh, you're Pokemon. It's very attached to you. Yeah! TM27 return. One of the best normal moves in the game. Especially if you have a Pokemon that has to be raised up through friendship anyways. Like, for example, Chippy or Munchlax. So let's give him some magical love power. Look, everybody can learn it. It is one of those TMs that if you can learn TMs, you can probably learn Return. Alrighty, back where we left off after that sale turned out to be a bust. Ah, oh, jeez. I know what this is going to be. It was a very tough battle in Heart Gold Soul Silver when it was just a double battle. I believe they have a Clefable and a Wigglytuff between the two of them. And they each have one of each, I should say. So you know what? We're just going to let Snoops get up there and cut them down. Then immediately after her, I'll have to battle the other one. I guess this would be Nuzlocke killing zones. But think of the experience I'm going to get. Almost a one-hit KO, with a critical. And of course I overwrote Swift on Snoots. Well, this is going to turn out pretty ugly. Stop doing that! Alrighty, we'll share the experience then. Unless I overrode it on Bo Peep 2, which would really blow. In other words, the game's doing everything it can to make sure I can't get to Equitech. Also, is evasion boosting minimized the only attack this Clefable has? If so, I might have been worried for nothing. Shake it, shake it, booty, booty. You gonna do the minimize shenanigans too there, Wigglytuff? Ooh, you actually have the ability to attack me. Also, isn't Wigglytuff's mouth supposed to be down on the white? Like, I'm pretty sure in most media, Wigglytuff's white belly goes up and over the mouth. Maybe it's a Johto variant. Oh no! We defeated Callie. I so hope the other one's named Mary. Come on, Splatoon references. Survey says... Ah, Cassandra. Callie Cassandra just doesn't have quite the ring as Callie Mary. F fix that, Rangi! The game's literally unplayable without that reference. Okay, I guess that critical didn't even matter last time. Look at you acrobatics with your weird animation. I feel like the uh, the speed sh lines from like Quick Attack and Extreme Speed would've been better for that, like through the and then the strikes. Yeah, 
seeing all that HP. Oh, now we're in love. And you disabled my cutting technique. Well, I guess we'll just swap you out for Pinlinko. Oh, you're just gonna make this a pain in the butt, aren't you? Well, if we can poison you, that's all good. There we go. Now all the defenses in the world won't help you. In two turns, you'll be dead no matter what. And Pinko will level up even better. I really wish I had a Moonstone, too. The Nidoran line's one of those Pokemon where you don't really lose out much if you evolve it as soon as you can. In fact, that's why speedruns of red, blue, and yellow use them so much. Because really, you miss out like Horn Attack and Body Slam, maybe? Which you can usually teach them later on, anywho. But the elemental coverage you get from Nido King and Nido Queen is totally worth it. Guess Gold Silver Crystal balanced it a little bit better by making Moonstones rarer. Get out of here, Cassandra. Oh, finally, Goldenrod. Or, er, <laughs> Goldenrod. Ecrotech, we've been going back to Goldenrod so much I'm confused. Alright, let's go into the Pokemon Center and heal up before we die. Hey, your grandpa said you're supposed to be in Kanto. What are you doing here? Well, I am Bill. <laughs> You've come at the right time. The time capsules could use your help. Let's see, we just came from before the time capsule shut down. Hey, yes, I'll play with an Eevee. Jeez, who do I want to deposit for Eevee? That is actually a kind of tough choice. Well, I don't want to put Chip your birth in. I'm working on their friendship. Alright, we'll put you in there for now, Pinko. The real question is, how do I want to evolve it? Do I want to go the fairy route with Sylveon? Do I want to go any of the various other routes? Uh, for the time being, we'll name you Eon. I do need a good grass type. Maybe I'll go with Leafeon. Won't be that hard. I just got to go to Ilex Forest and level up. Doesn't seem like anybody in here has changed too much. Don't know who Bill is. Yeah, I just met him. Check out Eevee, and then, oh, you've got mail. That's probably adorable. Oh, you've got Eon mail. Hello, free Eviolite. Let's see. Heh. <laughs> Oak, you sent this through time, you crazy dog, you. Alrighty, well, I think we've done enough today, so we're going to cut it off here. Off screen, I'll go exchange that Eon mail for an Eviolite. Until then, you guys stay beautiful, and I'll catch you next time.